YouTube, this is DXLingJ here with another video. As you can see, we are currently on the RDF Mike Redstone server, RDF Minecraft server. And here is my CPU, what I've been working on recently. Um, I'm just going to show you what's done and uh, how some of it works, what's to come, and how long it'll take to finish. Alright, so let's start let's start here with these. These are um, registers. Four registers, four one byte registers, where their inputs and their outputs are controlled by two AND gates and they go on to one bus. If you can look, this is how it works. The input comes up through here, goes along the top, through an AND gate, and then into the input of the RS and latch. And then the output comes out through here, goes through another AND gate, comes up here, and goes back onto the same bus. Let's go over here. Here is 32 bytes of RAM. This is all credit to this RAM goes to Shrog, YouTube name Shrog2. He built and designed this and I asked for his permission to use this and he said yes. Here we've got a bunch of we're, it, bunch of connectors connecting the uh, the right inputs and the outputs together. Here are the uh, address selectors. They'll be hooked up together and put into an 8-bit bus. As you can see, we've got buses running along all the way over here. This is where, oh, here's another register right here, which is going to store the ALU calculation. And this long bus is where the ALU will be. This is the main bus again. When I finish this, it'll be color coded. And this is this right here is the instruction address register that will control all of this. Now, one reason why the ALU isn't finished is because it needs to be smaller than my ALU over here. Let it load a bit. It needs to be smaller than this one. So, but one of the main problems was, is the comparator, this thing right here, was even bigger than this. And it took up 106 space to line up eight of them together. Now, I, I literal, literally just finished designing this. It is much compact. It's half the size of this. And with this, I'll finish the ALU. So, what else is needed in this CPU? Well, what's needed is the ALU, all of the wiring in the middle that controls all of this, the memory address registers, the MAR, here, and one of the most important things is what I what I call a two-way repeater, something that will send the signals both ways, and this is the biggest problem I've had so far. If you look here, you can see all my attempts at making a two-way repeater. It's funny because this one right here. We'll see. I'll sh I'll show you some of the problems. First. This problem is it sends the signal both ways, but it gets stuck. Now let me. Nope. Wrong button. Okay. All right. I'll ignore all of the comments. Let watch it. It'll turn off if I do this, and then if I try and place another one, it sends it both ways, but it gets stuck. It's in a loop. This one's. This one sends them both ways, but has an input and an output, so it, you can't hook them together without making it loop. 
this was my attempt at hooking it together. This one, well, this just doesn't work. And plus, it's too wide. I need one wide. This one gets stuck on a loop. I used this torch to try and see if I could get it not working on a loop, but that didn't work either. And as you can see, combined with these other two designs, I accidentally made a clock, which is quite funny. Maybe we can try something. Let's try this. Nope, see, it's still, still gets into a loop. And that's not just because it's hooked to this. It does that because it's a clock. Well, that's that's what's to come. That's what needs to be put into this, and then it will be a full CPU. I can't predict how fast it will be, but that really doesn't matter. This is a almost a proof of concept. It's mostly. I have the power to control the sun. Ha 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 ha. Okay, it's mostly, it's very laid out. I can make this a lot smaller if it wasn't as laid out. I made it laid out on purpose because this is similar to actual circuits. So, again, what's needed, most importantly, a two way repeater, the ALU, the wiring in the middle, and the MAR. And that is about it until I'm finished. Now the reason why I haven't made a Minecraft video in a long time is because I took a break away from Minecraft and played some StarCraft. But now I'm back. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.